If you want to know how to make a super quick and easy greeting card in Cricut Design Space, then watch this. Hi, I'm Sarah. This is Extraordinary Chaos and I'm the designer behind this channel. And today I'm going to show you how to make this really easy, happy birthday card. I've made the top half, cut it out in black glitter and mounted it on a greeting card with sticky pads. So all you will need for this card is whatever size cards you want. So I just buy the blank packs from Amazon. I will drop the link below for that. Black glitter card or any color glitter card you want. You can back it. If you want to back it, you just create an offset or duplicate it and remove all of your contours and then you can put a back on and then you could have a contrast back. So that's really easy to do. So all you will need is a pack of plain greetings cards with envelopes. These are six by six, but you can get whatever shape or size you want. You want some glitter cardstock for your top layer. You want something quite sturdy because you're going to stick it on with sticky pads. You need sticky pad. And if you want to create a background, you'll want a contrasting color of card. Okay, are we ready? Let's get designing. So start by going to the free shapes panel and you want one of the rounded squares that's slightly rounded on the corners. Go to the top bar and you want to create an offset so just choose the offset tool and it can be any size you like now select all and click slice and this is going to slice the top layer out on the bottom and this is making the frame for your card and now we're going to go to the text tool and type whatever we want so I want happy birthday I'm going to go in and search for love and beach I've had this font for years I think I got it from design bundles but it's one of my favorites the only problem with it is that it's not joined up and if I create an offset it might be a little too chunky because it's already a chunky text but this is really easy to get around. So what you're going to do is you're going to remove your shape, ungroup your letters and then you're just going to arrange them so that they're slightly a bit wonky and what that will do. I mean I really like this look so it depends if you like it but just arrange it so that everything's touching. And with these cards, everything does need to be touching. So once you've done that, you can right click and weld. And then we're going to do the same with birthday. Now you could choose a joined up font. You could choose a finer font and create an offset. But I love this font and I just think it looks really great on cards. So as I say, there is always the option to add an offset or ungroup and just move everything about and shuffle it. So it looks a bit haphazard, which I like. It's chaotic and then weld it together and then you've got your word how you want it. And once you have got it how you want it, you can pop it back in your card and start to arrange it. Now, if your corner tool's working to rotate, then you can use that. If not, go to the top rotate bar and just align it. The key with one of these cards is that everything is touching. And what that does is it makes it easier to cut and more solid. So you're now gonna grab a star because we need some fillers and obviously this will also add detail to the card. So I've created an offset, sliced it out. So I've got a nice rounded style. You can make it more pointed if you want. And I'm going to pop that in, go to my rotate tool and just rotate it. So it's at a bit of an angle. And the beauty of this is you can use any shape you want. You can use flowers, whatever. But for this card, I just thought stars really worked. Now I'm going to duplicate, I'm going to add a few, but I'm going to change them so that they're not all in the same direction. So just use the rotate tool and pop them all around and then you can size them. And you can see that what I'm doing is I'm popping them in so that they're connecting blank spaces of the card. And this just makes it a lot stronger. Now this is the point that if you are going to use this card template again, save it as a card blank because then you can always go in, you can add a name, you can add something different and save it as again. If not, then you're ready to connect it all together. And you do that by selecting all and clicking weld and that's gonna make it one layer. And for some reason at the moment, it's not doing it, but one of my images when I look is a print and cut. It, I've flattened it. So if you ever have that happen, go back and just change that to a cut image. Sometimes it happens by mistake. And there you go, weld. So it's all welded together and I've now got my birthday card. So what I need to do now is just have a good look at the card. A good way to do this is turning it white, but I can already see that there's some letters that just aren't joined up as much as I'd like. There's some gaps that will make cutting a pain. So I just grab a circle, make it smaller and dot them around on those areas, just overlap. 
and then I can weld them and that will just make sure that that cuts smoothly because that's closed up a tiny little hole that I didn't want there. And the last thing is to size your card top. Now I've measured my base card that I'm going to put it onto and it's six inches. So I'm going to size that to just less than that so that it fits just inside the card and then I can send it to cut. So I'm going to cut it on the mat and because it's glitter card, I'm going to choose glitter card and then more. And there we go. So now we're going to get it cut out and it's so simple to make. These take no time at all. And here we go, it's cut out. So we're gonna reverse weed it. This is a new mat. So it might take a bit longer to weed. We're gonna flip it. You can't bend it completely and just start loosening it away. I probably didn't need to use my brayer today. And then gradually peel it off. And there you go. And we're just gonna pop that on there. Now we could have put a back on it, but I wanted it just to be plain. And then we're going to flip it over and do our sticky pads. I think I've got them all now. And then we can pop that on. And you can see now why it's got to all be touching. And there you go. Super easy to make. This really is such a great thing to have in your toolkit, just to be able to create a card in minutes. And sometimes one of the boys will say, Mum, I need a birthday card for so-and-so. And I quite often make them personalise. And don't forget, as long as before you weld it, you save as and then save it as birthday card blank. Then every time you need a card, you can go into that and save as after you've finished designing so that you've always got your blank to go back to. Then you've, you've got your base. You just go in and jiggle it about and add a name. And you could do that for all sorts of things, ages, all sorts. Thank you for crafting along me. And if you want to make more detailed personalised cards, do check out my other videos because I've got lots of videos of making detailed cards in monogram letters and numbers. And if you want to create a card from scratch, then do go and check out my happy birthday card. I will link this into this video. And that is a super easy way to use just an outline letter, one of my free SVGs, and create that into a multi lad card and make the card itself as well. And it's really, as always, <laughs> dead easy. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time and happy crafting.